Hey folks, let me ask you if this has happened to you. If you've been trading the market, then the odds are this is something you've experienced. You're following that trade. Maybe it's a stock, maybe it's Tesla or Apple or one of these really popular stocks, or maybe it's a cryptocurrency like a Bitcoin or XRP or Ripple, one of these you know really popular uh, cryptocurrencies, or maybe it's a Forex pair or something, but you've been watching your favorite guru or maybe your friend said, hey, you gotta go buy this. So you've been watching it, you see the price go up a little bit, so you buy into it. And as soon as you buy into it, it seems like, man, the price just turned and went against me and you end up selling for a loss or maybe just kind of hold on, barely breaking even or maybe down a little bit and you just end up you know, frustrated, wondering why you can't make money with these trades. I'm gonna show you in this video a strategy where you can take that very same trade, the one that you're currently holding, not making money, and turn it into a profit generator, something where you can create consistent, predictable profits. That's what we're gonna do in this video. So if that sounds exciting to you, then let's go. Hello, hello everybody, it's Jeremy Whaley here from TradeMaestro.com. You can find us over at TradeMaestro.com. And as I said in the intro, I want to share with you a strategy here where you can kind of get out of that, what I call the rat race of trading, you know, where you're chasing different trades and maybe your friend told you you should go buy it or maybe you heard it on television or all over the internet, wherever it was, but for some reason you found that special stock or you found that special cryptocurrency and you've been watching it and you kind of done some research on it and you think, yeah, this is it. This this one's going to make me some money. And then you get into it and nothing happens. Or if you're like a lot of people, maybe you've learned this idea that you just hold on for dear life. HODL is the, the current colloquial term that people give you for that. And, you know, I understand it. It's worked for some people, but what you find if you've done enough of it is you just end up holding a bunch of stuff that, that goes nowhere. You're not really making any money and maybe eventually you'll make some money, but that's not really your idea. Your idea was to be that guy, to be that girl that, you know, bought some crypto and made a fortune really fast or bought that stock and, you know, it went up 200% in the next year. And that's your goal. That's what you want to do. I know because you're like everybody else. So what I want to do here is I want to show you and teach you the, um, kind of the phenomenon of why stocks move to different price points. And I say stocks sometimes, but I'm really talking about all assets. It works for crypto. It's the same in Forex and futures, everything you trade. Okay, so I want to talk about why it is first that we get to a price point and then nothing happens. And you're sitting here and you're looking at it and you're like, this thing's got to go higher. This thing's got to be moving and then nothing happens. So why does that happen? We'll talk about that phenomenon first and then I'm going to share with you the technique or the strategy. So I want to introduce you to a concept called support and resistance. Now, here's what happens. If you buy that asset, you buy that crypto, you buy that um, whatever it is, stock. I mean, I just, I keep always saying that, but um, just whatever you're trading, this works for it. Okay. So you're going and buy that crypto and you get into it and you're watching it go up and it suddenly just runs into that ceiling. Or maybe you've been watching it go down and you keep thinking, you know, I, I thought this thing was going to crash and it never crashes. It gets to this price and it just stays there forever. Why is this happening? What you are discovering firsthand is a little phenomenon that we call support and resistance. So support is the price point where an asset finds more buying pressure than selling pressure. And what ends up happening is that buying pressure drives the price of the asset higher. Okay. So I want to show you an example here and I want to look at gold. This is one that a lot of people have been watching a lot lately. You know, there's a lot of people, especially on the internet, all over YouTube that are saying the price of gold is going to go skyrocketing. We look at the inflation that's happening in the country and people say, think that, you know, gold's going to skyrocket here and then it just ends up going nowhere. Why does this happen? Well, take a look at this chart. I'm going to make it big so you can really see it. And notice how down here around, oh, I don't know, $1,700 up to around $1,720, somewhere in there, gold just always seems to bounce. Like every time it gets down here, it goes up and this seems to be like a floor. We call that floor support. It's that price point where the trade finds more buying pressure than selling pressure and the buyers end up coming in. Now, is there a reason that 1700 is that magical number? And the answer is no, there's not a reason other than it's the price point where the buyers have started to congregate. And if you can learn how to identify these price points, then you can learn to buy at those prices as well. Now, on the other side of this is another 
phenomenon that we call resistance. What is resistance? Resistance is the price point where the asset finds more selling pressure than buying pressure. And that selling pressure drives the price of the asset lower. So basically it's just the opposite of support. If support's on the bottom, resistance is on the top. So take a look over here at gold. And you'll notice um, that lately we ran into one of these ceilings. We ran into resistance. It's up there somewhere between 2,040 an ounce and on upwards a couple times up at 2,080 an ounce. But it's a solid resistance. It's like every time we get there, boom, we just ran into the ceiling and we can't go any higher. And the trade turns and it goes down. You can see most recently that we just hit it on the right side of the chart. But you can see that uh, back in May, we hit that same resistance area. Back in March in 2022, we hit that resistance area. Going all the way back to 2020, we hit that resistance area. And it's just like it's a ceiling. It's like we can't break through this glass ceiling. Why is it? Well, it's because this is where the sellers are showing up. The sellers show up at this price point and as excited as you are to buy it, those sellers come in in a flood. Now, just imagine with me, if you're new, you're new to the market, and you have no idea that the ceiling is there. You have no idea that resistance is there. You don't know supports there. And so what happens for you is you jump in and suddenly the trade goes down. You don't know why. You just were told by somebody that it was a good stock or it was a good crypto or in this case, a good commodity with gold. And you thought, yeah, I'll just jump into it. And then you're holding it and it just keeps going down, keeps going down. You can't figure out why. Well, if you're like most people, you jumped in at resistance. It was going higher. And you thought, oh, it's going higher. It's a, it's a really good idea. Like right now, if you look at this chart on the right side of the chart, it's going higher. Is it a great time to buy gold? Well, maybe. But when you look at this chart, you, you could see why it would be easy to say, yeah, I should buy gold. But you could also see why understanding now with resistance, you could see that, oh, this is exactly where the sellers are showing up. So if you're the person who's been watching the asset and as it starts to go higher and it starts to, you know, really put in some, some higher moves and gets exciting. They start talking about it on TV. You're like, yeah, I'm going to go buy it. And then it goes down. You wonder why it's because you've been buying at the top. You didn't mean to, you didn't know better. It's not your fault. Really? Nobody taught you this. You just didn't know. And so you kept buying at the top. And then of course, what happens? All that selling pressure comes in. And then if you're like most people, you end up selling out of frustration. And where do you end up selling? You end up selling down here at the bottom. And about the time you're selling, who's buying the very people who started the move by selling at the top. In other words, you're just on the wrong side of the trade. Now I'm showing you this with gold, but it works for everything. Take a look at this. This is um, Bitcoin, okay? So look here at Bitcoin, right around $1,800 a, a token here, somewhere between uh, $1,800 and $2,000 a token. We have a solid support on Bitcoin. It's like every time we get down here, boom, the, the trade starts going higher. And just most recently here, right around 45,000, 45, 46,000, we started to run into resistance. It was going up so quickly and suddenly, boom. Now, if you're like a lot of people, you might've just been buying. You may have rushed into this and thought, yeah, Bitcoin's gonna rush higher. And you might be part of that, what we call a consolidation here, right, right around that 45,000 mark where all these buyers are coming in, but so are all the sellers and it's starting to make a turn. Okay, so don't be surprised right now as I'm doing this video, I don't know when you're gonna watch it, but don't be surprised if Bitcoin goes down a little bit from here. Why? Well, it's nothing wrong with you, nothing wrong with Bitcoin, it's just that this is where the sellers are. And so you can see why this would be a pattern that maybe you've gotten into, maybe a lot of people you know have gotten into. And if you can get on the outside of it and instead of you know, becoming a victim of the pattern, if you can recognize the pattern, now you can learn how to trade with it and then you can turn yourself into a profitable trader. So I want to talk about that really quickly here. What a lot of people do, I'd say most people in their trades is they get this idea that they should just buy and hold forever and eventually it will go where, where they want it to go. That might happen for you, but that's really gambling. It really is. When people talk about the market being a, a place where people gamble, that's really what they're talking about. This kind of predominant philosophy of buying, hold and hope for the best or buy, hope and pray. Um, that, that is truly gambling. You have no idea. But what if you could see the structure like what I'm showing you here and you could see where the highs are, you could see where the lows are and you could know that, man, when I get there, all the other sellers are going to show up. I'm going to sell too. And when I get down there, it's where the buyers are going to show up. I'm going to buy too. Do you think you could get on the other side of the trade? And the answer is yes, absolutely. You could, you can. This is what I teach people to do. It's what we've been teaching people to do for 15 years. So let me show you how it works here. Um, what you're discovering is something that we call market structure, market structure. And this concept, this concept of support and resistance, this is the basics 
of all the market price structure that we use. And when you when you really understand the market, every market, stocks, futures, Forex, crypto, all of the markets have a structure to them. And the name of that structure is support and resistance. When you understand this and you learn to identify these key price points, trading becomes very, very easy. Okay, so when you understand them, we call them pivot points, by the way, that's, that's the technical term for it. When you understand these pivot points, you can and you will not just beat the market, but you start to see your equity curve going up. You start to see a whole different experience with the market. Okay, so now that I've kind of laid that out, I want to show you the kind of introductory um, technique or strategy that we use to trade this phenomenon of support and resistance. So we call that a trading channel. Let me kind of give you a high level overview. With a channel, here's what happens. We've got a trade, we've identified a trade that is stuck moving between support and resistance. So it's just going up and down, up and down between support and resistance. This is in a predictable repeating pattern. Now, why is a predictable repeating pattern important? Because a predictable repeating pattern means we can make predictable repeating trades. Hmm. Let me give you a, another example here. This is IWM. This is the Russell 2000. So if you're not familiar with Russell 2000, it's a uh, it's an index kind of like the S&P or kind of like the Dow, but it holds primarily small cap stocks and there's 2000 of them in the index. And so it's an index that a lot of people like to trade. They like to trade a lot of Russell stocks. And if you wanted to trade that with an exchange traded fund, you would use this one, IWM. Okay, so let me show you the chart here and show you what happened. Let's just imagine you wanted exposure to the Russell 2000 way back here in June on the left side of the chart. I don't know if you can see my mouse, but I'm pointing to the left side of the chart. Let's assume that you wanted um, you wanted exposure to the Russell 2000. So you purchased this ETF back here, maybe around $180 a share, and you held it for the next two years. And where did it go? And the answer is absolutely nowhere. Exactly a year and a half, two years later, it's sitting here and it's $185, $190 a share, but really it went nowhere. How many of you can identify with that? Raise your hand, okay? I know so many traders that come to me and they did this very trade. They did it with Russell or they did it with, you know, just fill in the blank. It happens a lot with crypto these days where people buy it and then they just hold it and it goes up and down and up and down, but it never really goes anywhere. And they're so frustrated that they've been holding it for two or three years. Everybody told them it was going to go to the moon and nothing happened. Well, let me show you what you could have done with this trade if you understood support and resistance. So we're going to make this thing full screen. Notice across the bottom here, right around $164, $165 a share. I just put a green bot, green line here. Notice how every time we get down there, Russell 2000 turns and goes up. Hmm, isn't that interesting? And then, so you, you start to watch this thing going up and it gets up to about $196, $195, 196 maybe $200 a share. And... Boom, it turns around and it goes down. You have identified resistance, okay? Now, the next thing you're going to notice here, because this is a very well-developed um, pattern, you're going to notice that it's done this several times, okay? Well, imagine instead of buying this stock and holding it and hoping for the best, what if you had identified support and resistance first before you ever got into it? What if before you ever bought the stock, you identified that this is where the buyers show up? And then as we hit support and we bounce, we start to move higher. What if you bought in right where I'm putting this green dot on the screen here? What if you bought in right here? And what if you held that trade until you got to the resistance area where I put the red dot and you decided to sell? Can you do that? Yeah, absolutely. You're not in this trade for two years. You're in this trade for about uh, three weeks, okay? And guess what you would have made? You would have made about $20 a share. Now, is $20 a share something to write home to mom about? I don't know. It depends on how many shares you had. If you had one share, it's $20. You know what I mean? It buys you a six-pack of soda, three six-packs of soda. Uh, but, um, you know, not, not much. 20 bucks isn't very much. But what if you had 10 shares? If you had 10 shares, it's $200. If you had 100 shares, it's $2,000. If you had 1,000 shares, it's $20,000. Okay, so it just depends on how many shares that you decided to purchase with it. But here's the critical thing. You didn't hold it for two years hoping to make some money. You bought into the stock, you recognized where it got to resistance, and you sold it, and you made $20 a share. Congratulations. That's better than most people did. Okay. Now, what if we wait? What if we watch this trade come back down and next time it gets to support and it makes the turn, 
Again, we buy in. This time we buy in around $172, $173 a share as it's bouncing up from support. Now, if you held through this, you would notice that it kind of started to move and then it came back down. Maybe you missed it the first time and you have a chance to get back in, or maybe you just held through it and you made the move up to the next uh, target, which is $196 to $200 a share. You you made that trade, and when it when it got there, you sold your, your position. You made another $20 a share. Okay, so you see what happened here. We made a predictable trade. We got to support, we bounced, we jumped in, we got to our target, we got to the resistance, and we sold. We made our $20 a share. We waited, it comes back to support, it makes the turn, we get in. Didn't go all the way, came back, gave us another chance. We get in. If you got, if you missed it the first time, you get in the second time. If you got in the first time, you just hold it. Waiting for it to get to your target. When it gets to your target, boom, we sell it again. We didn't make your $20. Congratulations. You got 10 shares, there's 200 bucks. You got 1,000 shares, there's 20,000. I don't know how many you're trading. It's up to you, okay? Now, what do we do? We wait. You don't, you don't uh, freak out and rush back in and say, oh, I just made 20 bucks. I got to buy it again. No. We wait, wait for it to come back. Sure enough, a few weeks later, it's back. Back down to support, makes the bounce. We make another 20 bucks, trade up to our target, wait a few weeks, comes back to our support, bounces up, trade it to our target, make our $20 a share. Now, if you think that sounds simple, it is simple, but here's the best part of it. Watch this. Over these four trades, we made a combined $80 per share which based on the underlying stock price is about a 50% return on investment in less than two years. Compare that to if you just simply bought the Russell 2000 ETF and you held it for the last two years, you would have basically made, you know, maybe a few dollars a share, but you wouldn't have made this much, wouldn't have made $80 a share. What's the difference? Here's the difference. Instead of buying and holding, instead of buying and hodling, what are you doing? You're trading. You're learning to recognize where the buyers show up, learning to recognize where the sellers show up, and you're joining the trade. This is what most people never do. Most people think it's okay to just buy and hold, and technically it is, but then they, they're frustrated and they wonder why they're not making any money. They're not making money because they're not really trading the market. What they're doing is they're dumping money into the market and hoping for the best. And many of you have been there. And then, you know, here's the problem with that. The problem with just dumping money in and hoping for the best is when it goes down, you go down with it. And when it goes up, you know, you, you go up with it, but it may or may not have been the right timing. What I've shown you here is a basic strategy, a very simple technique of recognizing support, buying as it's moving up from support, trading it to a target, which we call resistance, taking your profit, and then waiting for the next trade. And it doesn't just happen on this trade. This just happens to be the one that I pulled up. But let me show you a couple more. This is on a stock called Zoom. You understand Zoom because I'm sure all of you have been on Zoom calls in the last few years. It's become very popular since 2020. And notice what's happened with Zoom. This was a stock that really took off during the pandemic. And since then, it's gotten stuck in a channel. And it's moving back and forth between about $64, $65 a share and up to about uh, $75 a share. And it just keeps doing it over and over again. Now, I know if you're looking at that, you might think, well, sometimes it's too low. That happens. Sometimes it goes below support and then it comes up. Sometimes it goes above resistance. But we have a general structure to the market. And if you can learn how to recognize that, can you buy it support and trade it up to resistance? The answer is absolutely. Let me show you another one here. This is... Um, this is um, Chainlink. This is a cryptocurrency called Chainlink. And you'll notice that it's a, it's a very popular currency. A lot of people have been trading it, but they've been holding it, hoping for the best. It's been going nowhere. Although it has actually been going somewhere. It's been going up and down between $6 and $8. Now that may not seem like a lot to you. $2 a token may not seem like a huge portion to you, but that's actually 30%. If you bought it $6 and you wrote it up to $8, you made $2 per that's um, that's 30%. So what if you did that five or six times over the course of a year? Well, suddenly you made over 100% on a cryptocurrency that sat there doing nothing. People think it's doing nothing. People are all frustrated. People getting out of it. But because you learn how to trade it, boom, you took that frustration of other people and you actually turned it into your superpower and you're making money with it. Let me show you another one here. This is on uh, the Canadian dollar. 
versus the U.S. dollar. And you can see how it's been moving between about $1.32, $1.33, up to about $1.37, well, $1.38. In, um, in Forex, this is a huge move. It's a great move that you can make a lot of profit on. Now, if you just buy it and hold it, you're not going to make a whole lot. But if you're trading it, getting in at support, getting out at resistance over and over, this could make you a fortune right here with Forex. Okay, So this is just one of the many strategies that you can implement. Let me kind of put it on the screen here so you can see how it's going to work. Here's what you're looking for. You're looking for a trade that is in a channel. And as you find that trade that's in a channel, next thing you're going to do is you're going to buy it as it's bouncing up from support. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to sell it as it hits resistance. And then you're going to wait. And you're going to wait for it to come back down to support. And when it comes back down to support and it bounces, and I want you to do it on the bounce. If you wait, if you, if you just do it as soon as it hits support, that's actually not the best time to do it. You need to do it after it makes the turn. So as it hits support, makes the turn, starts to go back up, you jump back in, wash, rinse, repeat, and you do it as long as it stays in the channel. Now, eventually it's going to break out. Eventually the channel is either going to break out to the upside or break out to the downside. And then we got other techniques for that. But this teaches you just right here, this one trade, it gives you the idea and it teaches you the principle of buying at support and selling at resistance and turning that into a profitable strategy that you can use over and over again in the market, okay? So here it is. I'm going to just pull it up here on the screen one more time so you can see it. Notice as we got down to support and we make the turn, that's where the green bubble is. You buy in here and then you trade it up to the red bubble, which is your resistance. Now, you don't need to wait for it to come back down at resistance. When it gets to resistance, you want to take your money. But at support, the reason you want to wait for the bounce, look, look for example, on the far right over here, November, if you can see where I'm kind of waving my cursor. You see how it hits support and then it kept going down quite a bit? Well, if it's going to break to the downside, that's what it's going to look like. So you don't want to take that risk. You want to wait. Wait till it goes down to support. Maybe it goes way down and then comes back up, or maybe it just breaks through support and keeps going down. Well, you want to stay out of that. So what you want to do is as it hits support, wait for it to come back up. And as it starts to make the turn and bounce up off of support, boom, you jump in and now your target is to trade it up to your resistance area. It's very simple. Okay. Now, is this all of it? Yeah, actually it is. For the channel, this is the majority of it. Uh, there's one more piece that I would teach you if we were going a little deeper, and that is the risk management piece. But if you would like to learn more about this and learn more about how this all works and operates... I have a free webinar for you called The Market Matrix, Decoding Price Direction, Targets, and Trends. Price Direction, Targets, and Trends. And this is about a two-hour uh, teaching going really in-depth on support and resistance, how you build it all out, what happens when it breaks out of resistance, what happens when it breaks below support, so you know the next piece of this. Uh, I obviously just don't have enough time in this little video here to teach you all of it. But in the market matrix, I go much, much deeper and it's free. All you need to do is get yourself signed up for it. So a couple ways you can do it right here, wherever you're watching this video, if you're on YouTube or Facebook or um, wherever it is that you're watching this, there should be a link below that will take you to the market matrix and it's pre-recorded, so you can just go watch that video and watch that webinar whenever you want to do so. If you don't see a link here, go over to trademaestro.com, trademaestro.com, and um, on the homepage, at least right now, on the homepage, you will have a place where you can sign up for the market matrix. Um, depending on when you're watching this, you might be watching it much later than when I've uh, put it out. So, you know, worst case scenario, send us an email and uh, we'll get you a link to it. But uh, go check out the market matrix. It will take this concept to a whole new level for you. And uh, we'll really teach you about support and resistance and how you can use that to build literally your matrix. Just imagine that the market is made up like a matrix, like the movie, because it kind of is. And it's got once you learn to read it, it's kind of like reading all that code in the movie. And so that's what we uh, teach you in that webinar is how to decode what the market's doing and how to read the matrix. Totally different way of looking at the market. And when you learn to do it, you will never, ever go back to buying and hodling and hoping for the best. It'll never happen for you. You'll, you'll see the matrix. It'll be so clear. You'll be like, oh, I have to go do this. So, all right, folks, thank you for joining me. If you haven't signed up yet, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so so that you can get all the updates and new videos and stuff that we put out. And uh, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Of course, go over to trademaestro.com, get on our mailing list over there as well. And by all means, sign up to watch The Market Matrix. Why? Because it will take your trading to a new level. All right, thanks again for watching. I look forward to next time. And until then, happy trading. We'll talk to you soon.